So yeah, like I was saying last video, before I cut myself off, because uh, it was time to end that video and make this video, um, I never actually read the Archie comics. Um, now what I did have is I had this little, like, collection book of, like, random stories from, like, the 90s and 80s and, like, 2000, early 2000s of Archie. And I remember being, like, so confused by it, because, like, I had no idea what the fuck was going on. It was just, like, random ass parts of stories that were, like, straight up in the middle of an arc. Just randomly, okay, here you are, read this, and then, uh, okay. What, what, what the fuck do you want me to do with this? I know nothing. I know no one. <laughs> Anyways, but, uh, yeah, I remember having to, like, kind of read it all the fucking time. Like, since I never was, like, around comic book stores, and I really wasn't into comic books at the time... I like, shit, that was a trick. I like, never, uh, actually got a chance to go and pick up the Archie comic, or the Archie Sonic run. And even then, I wasn't that big of a, I wasn't big enough of a Sonic fan to, I barely like to read at that time, okay? I still really don't like reading all that much, but I do it just because I kind of enjoy it. Or, like, I like reading the IDW run. The IDW comics have been so good. There's not a single IDW comic I am not happy with thus far. Anyways, uh, like I was gonna say, um... I've thought about reading the Archie comics for, like, so long because I had, like, a disdain for Sad I Am and all that. I, like, didn't want to read the Archies. But now that I'm, like, older, and now that I've... I'm not really that old. Again, now that I've, like, like watched Sad I Am, and now that I've had some time to read IDW, I kind of want to, at some point, go back and, like, I want to read the entire Archie comic run. The only problem is, I don't know how to do that. I don't know if I can, like, go on to, like, fucking... Again, Archie's run was discontinued, so I don't know how I'd go about reading them. I could, like, see if they're, like, fan channels. Oh, like YouTube channels where I like go through the entire Archie run. There are actually a few Archie stories that I had like that I watched those on, but they were all like the future issues. Like the one where like Sonic and Sally were like married and they had kids, and the Manic and Sonya. And they had like fought chaos because apparently Shadow became king was like evil. It was so confusing to me and I gave no shits about it. There's also this one that I watched. It was like Omega just wanted to fuck Blaze, and I was like, okay, I'm never reading the Archies after that. No, like seriously, after seeing Omega basically get a boner for a cat, I then understand it why I will never read the Archies. And now I'm kind of going back on that thought because, uh,. I kind of want to see what I missed in the 90s, 2000s, before the IDW one. Don't get me wrong, I love IDW's run on Sonic. It is, in my opinion, the definitive characterization of Sonic, in my opinion. Like, I just fucking love their take on him. Motherfucker! Like, I love how fucking cocky he is, how... Just in general. How Sonic is portrayed in general in IDW, I just fucking love, cause... <laughs> it's not a straight up cocky bitch. 
I mean, he's a pretty cocky bitch, but he's not like a straight up asshole. He's actually a character. It's like the best way I can describe it, cause like, shit. Shit, I was trying to get over and do the Michael Jackson moonwalk with. Anyways, uh, like I was saying, I like IDW's characterization of all the Sonic characters, really. Even Shadow. I feel like they make Shadow work, and I feel like they're gonna make Shadow work one way or another. And I'm really excited for Ian Flynn's Scratnik. Scrat How do you pronounce it? Scratnik? Scratnik? Scrat I don't know. All I know is I'm excited for it because, ah, oh, shit, I just realized I downloaded my shield. But, all I know is I'm excited for it because I love all of Ian Flynn's writing so far for IEW. And, um, like, and just in general, I'm so excited for Frontiers, purely based on the fact that Ian Flynn is writing it. Just the fact that he's writing it alone gets me excited for Frontiers. Well, I fucked that up already, and I, re uh, I really shouldn't have, because the music was getting pretty good. I'm not gonna jump anymore, uh, for the rest of this video. At least till we get to like start a speedrun, maybe. Shit. But um. Yeah, just in general, I absolutely love Ian Fun's writing for the series. I think he's very much kind of. He knows what the Sonic fanbase wants more than we even know that we want. And well, yeah, the IDW series has been getting a lot of flat lately because, again, try to remind you can't please everyone. But still, for not pleasing everyone, they've done a fairly outstanding job. Despite pleasing despite only pleasing like but even then like the Sonic fans I do see complaining are like very minimal and the majority of Sonic and the majority of complaints I see are actually sound complaints just it just so happens you only see Sonic fans complaining on Twitter and those aren't your Sonic fans are, that's Twitter I consider a serious fan base and it's Twitter following Two separate entities, because I'm sorry, but if you're a fan of something and you constantly complain and you just so happen to be on Twitter.com, you're not a real fan, I'm sorry. I don't count. Motherfucker. I think that was his I think that was your beta name, bird boy. Yeah, motherfucker. Can't wait to see that in the next uh Sonic and Spike the Speedy, whatever it is, I don't know. I don't know, I kind of want to get that and read it, just because I want to film I want to know everything about this damn franchise I love. I want to know all the weird shit, I want to know all the cool shit, I want to know everything. Oh shit, I almost lost the balls. Ah shit. Okay, that's good, I can go super. Fuck you, bitch! Tails, you bitch, you got in my way. Come on, ah, shit. I can't wall juggle him. Tails put me down. There we go, we fucking killed him. Good job, Tails. You did absolutely nothing to help me. Anyways, um... The only complaint I can honestly give IDW is the current arc that's going on with Surge. I don't, I don't like how soon it's happening. Like, we just had the 50th issue. 
it built up. Now we're getting a fifth imposter syndrome issue. Right? I thought imposter syndrome was done. Now we're getting another imposter syndrome. The whole surge arc is going to be continuing way past what it needs to be. But it, it should have been done like forever ago. Now not only are we getting another imposter syndrome, followed by Surge apparently continuing up until like, I want to say it was like issue 58 I heard. I don't know, I was like on Twitter and I saw like, oh uh, like, um, con like, what the planned cover art for, for a handful of issues for, like the next good for like the next good while of comic issues were and they were all like centered around Surge and I think it was around like issue 58 I want to say or something like that I'm sorry but Surge is a good character I just think it's time we put her on the back burner for a bit I mean, you know what I mean? I love Sir. She's a good character and all that. She's gonna be a good villain. I just kind of want to see Surge take a back seat for a bit, so that way we can go on a classic Sonic Man adventure. It doesn't help that Frontiers is right around the corner, and me and the rest of the fan base are concerned how IDW handles adaptions. The only game they've had to adapt has been fucking Team Sonic Racing, and even then, they just did that in a one-shot. Rather not they adapt uh, games in, like, their own miniseries to, like, keep them separate from the rest, and it's like, oh, it all happened after the events that are currently unfolding. Like, okay, yeah, good for you, but, like, you could have weaved that into the main narrative more. Because if they do, they also, another complaint I have, while we're on the topic of, uh, IDW's miniseries, why the fuck aren't other characters, like, why is every, like, why is it whenever you want to give another character some time to shine, it's either, like, a quick story arc done, or it's either a quick story it's like either a quick story that lasts a few issues, or it's just a, or it's just a fucking mini series. Like, don't get me wrong, I like the Tangle and Whisper mini series. I just think it personally would have been better if it was an actual long-running series because. With how absent Tango and Whisper were for like the longest time in the series. Because there was no need for them. Because they were like off doing their own shit. While uh, the main cast was also off doing their own shit. I don't know. I feel like it would just would have been nice to have Tango and, oh, Tango and Whisper dedicated series. Like monthly, er, uh, every other month, every third month or something. Just in general. That just would have been nice to have. But I digress. I understand, you know, you can't just do that because, um, yeah, it's a Sonic series. Maybe Sega's restricting them. Maybe they don't do it because they don't have enough ideas for it. Which is understandable. I don't know. I just kind of wish that. Like, why can't characters like Shadow get a full on series? Like, I feel like Shadow deserves his own, like, not a miniseries, but I feel like Shadow should get like his own little run in the comics on his own. Like, have it just go for like a couple, like just have it go for like, I don't know. You don't have to make it like 50 issues because that would take something forever. I don't know, you can make it... Oh shit, I almost fucking died. Even though I don't really want to go super yet and I want to save that for the metal fight. Fuck it. I just have to keep my rings up. I really just do not want to lose my ring. Even though I got the fucking blue ring of death. Not the ring of death, but I got the fucking blue ring of fucking idiot. 
Then again, what else is it? Oh shit, there's a fucking... Shit. Anyways, um... I mean, characters like Shadow, I'd love to see those on the series, but... If it does happen, it's probably gonna be a mini-series, to be honest. Again, nothing wrong with them, I just, you know... I kind of wish there would be more. I don't know. Maybe imposter syndrome is going to change that because there's going to be more of that apparently. Yay. I'm sorry, I really like what they've done with Starline's death so far. Like, have it be like kind of haunting, like kind of just haunting surge. Alright, Metal. You want to fucking race? Let's race, bitch. Rematch time. It's rerun time! I'm gonna be real sneaky looking ass. Tiss an ass, eat an ass. Boy! Yeah, seriously, having Super Sonic in this fight is such a fucking cheat. If this was an actual race, just. Metal Sonic's fuck. Fast fuck, boy. You even know how fast I really am. Ah, uh, but this part does make it hard. Oh, this part, shit. Oh, this part is hard, because now you have to, like, work harder, so... No, oh, buddy. Fuck's sake. Ah, oh, damn it. Come on. Die already. Finally. Come on, let me go, 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 let me go. Alright, come on, head, come on, come on. I know IDW is like saving. Another thing that I wish IDW would do more, well, like, I know they're saving the Chaos Emeralds for like the next story arc, like whenever they adapt fucking uh, Frontiers, whenever that does happen, or like they're saving it for an actual story arc or something. But why don't they like put more focus on the Chaos Emeralds? Like, have Sonic, like, actively looking for them in some issues. I don't know. But anyways, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I guess, uh, that's it for now. I'm actually gonna end this entire recording session, because I am tired. And I need to take a break before we continue. Anyways, I will see all of you in the next video. Don't forget to smash like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.